Welcome back to the channel. My name's Francois and this is the South Downs Way 100. Let's go. Start of the South Downs Way 100. What a morning we've got for it. The sun's just come up. We've got a long day ahead, but it's going to be a good one. I feel prepared, I feel ready, legs feel good. It's going to be a warm one today, very warm. So uh, the main thing is to pace myself correctly. Just through the first aid station, 10 miles in one hour, 30 minutes. So far so good, let's keep it going. So, started in Winchester, Matterley Bowl, running to Eastbourne all the way on the South Downs way. My goals for this race, firstly is to finish the race um, without going into pain cave too much, but it's gonna be hard to avoid with the heat today. And the second goal is to try and get somewhere near 24 hours. The aim of that is to conceive where I lie for uh, the Cotswold Way in September, which is where I really want to get under 24 hours if possible. Outside of that, try and stay injury free, hydrate properly, stay strong physically and mentally. Let's get it done. What a day to be out on the trails. I mean, look at this. What more could you want? Perfect. Nice light wind. Sun's just coming up. Feeling good. And I'm going downhill. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to recce any of this route. So today, race day, I'm running it blind. I know it's got over 12,000 feet elevation, so I need to take that into account, pace myself wisely. That's 20 miles in three hours, seven minutes. And uh, my body is beginning to talk to me now. My knees are telling me we're on a long run. 
So uh, I've acknowledged them uh, and let them know that it's going to be a long day, so deal with it. So let's crack on. Nearly at Aid Station 2, Queen Elizabeth Country Park. Let's go. So when I'm looking to enter a race, uh, especially when I can't recce it, I tend to look online for any tips, any research, any video footage. And uh, a lot of the YouTube videos that I come across are pretty good. Uh, but what I'd like to convey is um, a raw, real account of what the race is actually like. And what I like about these long distance ones is it appeals to everyone, whether you're at the front of the pack, middle or, or the back, everyone will go through the same process of digging deep, having mental battles, having physical aches and trying to get through it. So in my Thames Path 100 video, that's what you saw and that's what I'm going to try and convey here, the highs and the lows. Let's go. So it's now 8.30 in the morning. I've been running for three hours, 50 minutes. And I gotta say, the sun's starting to uh, beat down a bit. On judgment day, I won't fade away. I'll be pushing on. Till the rivers run dry, I've got to try, try, try. I'll be pushing on. Till my dying day, I won't give it all away. I'll be pushing on. No wind, hot sun, steep hill. Till the rivers run dry, I've got to try, try, try. I'll be pushing on. That's 30 miles done in 4 hours 50 minutes, it's starting to get really hot now, exposed on Harting Down, uh, didn't have a very nice tailwind from the last checkpoint, so my stomach is arguing with me, and as I go down this hill, my knees are complaining as well, but it is what it is, and we'll find a way to get through it. Power on. Stay tuned. For the record, mile 35 this is where it started to get really tough. Wrong way to do it. The sun is brutal now, really feeling it, still managing to drink, but this is tough. Just gone past 40 miles. Six hours, 38 minutes, and uh, just under 5,000 feet of elevation. So, 
So uh, a lot more elevation to come. miles done now in 8 hours 50 very tough very tough anything resembling the hill has to obviously be walked some of the flats as well there's a bee on me really out in the midday sun now so suffering a lot so that's 50 miles um, not eating much not drinking much doing what I can might have to walk this one in see what time we get but oh got some oranges I'll have them obviously lacking I'll try and check in later got to get over the style now just past 60 miles in 11 hours 6 minutes and uh, I'm officially running on empty from here on in, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Mile 63. <coughs> Just been sick everywhere. <coughs> but uh, I do feel a lot better afterwards. My feet are destroyed, and uh, I'm in a very dark place. It's the first time I've thought about not getting to the end. I'm wondering if I can walk it in, but I'm wondering if I should give up or grit and bear it. Get it done. Yeah, we'll see. Seventy hour, um, seventy miles done. Fourteen hours, seven minutes. I think I've decided to uh, just aim for a finish. I've basically got 
10 hours to do 30 miles if I want to do under 24 so I just can't see it happening so I'm going to grind it out and try and finish sorry if it's not very really, uh, inspiring but this is what it's like for me today and yes the views are amazing but right now I can't think of anything else except stopping so I need to mentally deal with that keep putting one foot in front of the other this is the hardest one I've ever done it's probably down to the heat continuously all day and also just not eating enough as usual I just can't stomach anything and uh, my feet destroyed um, and the hills are relentless um, they just don't stop so you can't get into a rhythm um, if you're running if there's a long downhill then I can shuffle down um, but I've got to be careful with my knees so uh, that's the reality of it That's 80 miles in 17 hours. That's all I got to say. Just coming into mile 84 checkpoint. 16 to go. 84 miles. I'm beep that out. Um, water dries my mouth out. Coke makes me feel sick. This is, without doubt, the toughest thing I have ever done. Fingers crossed I make it to the end. Thanks for watching, peeps. I got this. I don't know if you can see but in the distance all the head torches on the horizon. Mile 90 done in 19 hours 42 minutes. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. In the home straight now. Turns out it can be done. So, proved myself wrong today, or proved myself right in that I know I've got it in me to get the job done. Thanks for being up here. Finally made it up the last climb. Now it's three miles down to the finish. Let's get it done. There we go, last 200 meters of the South Downs Way 2021. 20, and it's been brutal, but it proves if you want something bad enough, 
get it. 